All right, screw this. Coco, hurry up and get in on the action. I want you to have some fun. In case I do die, I want to see if I get another achievement with you dying in particular. Will it be different for you or really just here? Let's find out. Let's see if you can get the colored gem for your good old brother. Oh no, your laptop get thrown away too. What a shame. You dumb, dumb little woman. Ah, just referring to her. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. This is your host, DMJ406. And, well, for some reason, I felt like using Coco Bandicoot to hopefully go for this uh, color gem here. And, uh, well, hopefully we can get said color gem. It shouldn't be a problem for me because I've already done this stage a few times. Well basically the end of the stage a few times trying to figure out how to get to the end of it without dying so yeah it should not be a problem hopefully oh no in my luck I might do something stupid about it let's find out then shall we so let's blow some shit up and see if that will do anything for us no not right now you freaking dope Hmm. I think I could just have her going around dying in other places to see if I get a... I should have looked at the achievement list. Maybe that would have helped. If I looked at what they said, maybe I could have figured out something. All of her lives are still Crash Bandicoot's faces. Then again, I didn't think it would change. Oh, your poor shoes. Nice to know she can do the exact same stuff as, his, as her brother can. Instead of just twisting and punching, she like does like a cross kick. She's like, yeah, pose. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Maybe it's like she's dancing? I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Either way, it doesn't look right. Oh, I know. It looks fine. What the hell am I talking about? I was trying to say it looks fine, but I keep being ridiculous about it. There we go. Now you figured it out. Okay, we got you figured out, lady. Now let's hurry up and get all these Wumpa fruits so we can make our way to the end of this level. And hopefully you don't die during. As soon as I made it to the section before that dying that I died repeatedly in to learn and figure out so I wouldn't die the next time, this should be an easy win, right? Don't forget, this is the MJ-4106, the master of failure. Oh. Damn it. All right, well, since I already failed. Damn. He is good at tracking. God, look at his fingers. He's, like, very eager to touch me. Okay, she got shocked. Uh, it's not as amusing. Please leave me alone. So you have to quickly get around behind him. I just want to see if I get, like, an extra achievement for one other thing. If it turns out I didn't, then I'm going to have to learn to look up the achievements beforehand before trying stuff like this again. Screw you! What would happen if I get hit by a potion? Oh, too late to worry about that now. I wonder what happens if I blow up. Ow! Everything just scatters. Oh, well. Okay, I thought I'd try. All right, never mind. We're going back to Crash. I can look up the achievements another time. Anyway. All right, Crash. You know what to do. Not die. I had enough practice. This should be the attempt. I might straight up do time warping again if this gets stupidly long. If I start dying too much, then I'm definitely going to have to... Yeah. I'm going to have to rethink things. This is a very straightforward stage, though. See, this is a stage that I like. It's a decent challenge without feeling like a too much of an asshole for you to figure it out. It actually feels fun. Well, the challenges are more just you learning to avoid things rather than the game's limitations holding you back. 
like, the jumping! I think I made that point clear by now that I hate the jumping in this game. Because of how they make some of the gaps super long to the point where even what feels like a perfect jump will end up you will end up being you dying. Because it's so hard to tell when to make the perfect jump. Haven't made that point clear yet. <laughs> I feel like I have more than enough. Oh god. Yeah, please don't break that one. You definitely need it to survive. Hi, lady. God, I better get rewarded by the end of this journey. She better give me what I want, or I'm never saving her ass again. Okay. Yep. Excuse me, I'm just going to avoid you. That's the best way to do it. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, there we go. I'm starting to figure your shit out. Oh, no, you don't. Get out here, you stupid scientist. I'm not going to let you have your scientific ways with me. <laughs> I'm not going to let you have your way with me in the name of science. That's not the way I roll, baby. That's not the way I roll. Hey, remember to avoid. Nah. All right, good, good, good. Okay. We're almost there. All right, I'm getting nervous, but I can taste it. The sense of victory is so close at hand. It's mine! It must be mine. It must be mine. Ha! Well, give it to me. You know I deserve that one. Ha ha! Leave it to crash to save the day. Give me that golden gem. Perfect! Now all that's left is to go back and get that other color gem. The purple one, right? Awesome. So, we finally almost have all the things. Now let's go back and do this one perfectly. Which, oh boy, I better make sure I hold on to Aku Aku properly. Come on, my friend. Let's go. Together. Let us light the darkness. I got my removed quickly. As the latest level works, I want to be moving as fast as I can for the most part. I remember. I hope it's not like a hidden half the side or something. That would suck. I gotta remember, almost at all times do I want to be moving at full speed. There's only like one instance I don't want to do that. Ah! That was another instance of wanting to move at full speed. Duly noted. But for now, survival's important. Whoop! Survival of the fittest! I hope I'm the fittest. If I'm not fit, then I don't know what I am. I gotta make sure I don't get hit or I'll lose my light and then I'll have to fucking guess my way through this shit. Which I'm not trying to do right now. That was the instance I didn't want to go full speed. Right. I almost forgot for a second. Help! Oh god, then there's this bullshit. Oh no! Let's go down here and see. Go oh, we're going up. Okay. Oh god, he has portraits of himself all over here. Oh well! A nice secret end of the level. That's awesome. Oh, wow, that was much easier than I was expecting it to be. Hey, we got one one try, guys! <laughs> Jesus, that was really simple. Holy shit. Wow. Hmm. Something makes me want to kind of go to the end of the game now. You know what? I'm going to have to go for 100% later anyway. Let's do it. I'm not going to do Stormy Ascent now. Let's do it. Let's see how this game ends for now. Unless this Great Hall level takes forever. Something makes you think this might be something. Return here where you're claimed every other gem. Oh, so there's something extra here if I have all the colored gems. Hmm. Otherwise, I can just go to Nero Cortex. Wow. Now I don't know what to do. Something feels really weird about this. 
Wait, did it say every color gem or every gem? Wait, look at that. Every clear gem. Oh, okay. So I got all the gems, I can come back here for something, huh? Let's just see what, what I can do for now. So all the gems gets me something in the Great Hall, huh? Interesting to note. So this is the reason I want all the gems. This is what every individual clear gem is for, for one platform each. Wow. Hmm. I wonder about that. Now it has me really curious. Hmm. Okay, well, since he's so inviting, let's take down your cortex now. I'll go after the rest of the gems later. Certain energy bolts will be deflected. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot. Jeez. What got you so angry? Okay, deflect our energy bolts. Got it. His cow's up in flames. I didn't do that. Okay. I was hoping that I would be able to deflect that one. I was wrong. Oh my god. He's so angry. All I did was ruin your lab. I hurt your... Assistance, well, man, I didn't really do much to you. You did this to yourself. That's what it feels like, anyway. I don't think I did that. Oh, God. Damn it. He gave me more than ample opportunities to deal with that. I still blow it. Hit me, please. get both of them? Wow. Okay, so this battle's been a bit of a dick, too. Yeah, I did deflect both of them. Oh. So I definitely gotta keep an eye for the green, out for the green ones. Because I might need to hit all of them. Okay, now he's just gonna make me wait. What a prick. Oh, God, I was not ready for that pattern. Gonna throw sine waves at me! You, so where the hell? He trapped me onto a blimp so he could shoot me down. That was a smart move by him, actually. Good trap, good sir. Ah! I'm trying to compliment you. Can you now try to kill me while I'm complimenting you? Well, I guess you just can't help yourself. In that case, take that, you dick. Do I need to jump up and hit again? Is that what that is? I don't know. I'm confused. Well. Okay, no, I do it with like multiple. All right, get ready for the weird pattern. Now they gotta run under it or jump over it. Screw you. I gotta get multiple in there. All right, that is how it is. All right. Oh, wow, this boss battle might take a while. Somebody's a dick. How's that? Gonna keep making it bigger and bigger for you. Oh god, rapid fire. Ah! No! I don't like rapid firing madmen. Curse you, Neo Cortex. So we meet again, huh? We, we have to stop meeting up like this. You just let me kill you so we can get this over with. Wow, so this one's a little tough. A big survival battle. Oh, by the way, I did look up some details about the uh, first Crash Bandicoot game. Just a little bit. I was just looking up... A, I was looking up some little trivia, since I am near the end of the game anyway, so it doesn't really matter at this point. I did know about the 100% ending, only because I knew that the second and third game had them. Something else I didn't know. You know how I said that they uh, gave you the pity treatment in this game if you died too many times? Apparently that actually started the second game. I guess they included... Ah! I guess they included it in the first Crash Bandicoot game of the trilogy. So it could actually be easier for people to get through it. I mean, I have a shitload of lives, but... 
Either way, I appreciate that if it was their intention to grant this to people so they get through the first game more easily. Thank you for fixing something that probably made the first game, going to the first game originally, a living hell. So I do appreciate that. I definitely do. God, I really gotta make sure I jump properly, because this is some shit. I'm really scared to keep jumping. Especially once he does these freaking sine waves! Why must you do the sine waves? Why? For that, take that! Alright, rapid fire time. And then he fires one of those. All right, one more. Give me everything you've got. Ah. Oh. Well, he gave me everything he had, which apparently was not much. There we go. Cortex and capacity. Wow. Take that, Neo Cortex. So. Goodbye. I saved my. Oh damn. I did it. I saved my girl. Let's go back home. We even got this cool new ride, a blimp. Yeah. <laughs> even got the credits for you. Woohoo! Oh yeah, Toys for Bob helped for that, I guess. That's right. So I would say this is the end of uh, Vicarious Visits Alchemy. I guess that was their game engine. I would say that's the end of Crash Bandicoot, but well, it's more just the uh, final boss, because it looks like there might be something else to go over if I... Uh, if I get all the clear gems, which is what we're going to go for next, but I will get my thoughts of the game as it stands right now, which, well, I basically played through the whole game for the most part, so it may as well. So yeah, Crash Bandicoot 1. Well, it certainly is a rough experience going back to. <laughs> I hope that me playing Crash 2 and 3, I won't feel the same way, because I had a lot of fun with Crash 3. Although I am aware that every game did get better, so I do, I do know the first one's the worst of the initial trilogy. But still feels better than a lot of the crap we got after Activision got them. No offense, Activision. Then again, actually, take the offense, Activision. Nobody likes you right now. <laughs> or at least most people don't. Oh, uh, they're a massive game publisher that, well, I feel like they have a lot of influence in the way they take some of their franchises and twist them into, well, what things like Crash Bandicoot became, and eventually I can talk about that in the future, what Spyro ended up becoming. Ugh. Well, I won't blame Skylanders for when they did the Spyro. He was actually okay in those, but the games themselves, it, it was too much money. And that's a whole other matter. Anyway, yeah, despite my frustrations with this Crash Bandicoot game, it's a nice look back at some of the, uh, and some old school gaming and one of the first efforts at 3D platforming. And well, I gotta say, this feels a lot rougher than Mario 64. It's not true 3D, but it's like a 3D style game that is more linear. But no still fresh take, despite it being linear, they still would make use of the entirety of a 3D environment, making you have to like think about certain angles to jump at and you know. It actually mattered in some cases, and it wasn't fast-paced like a Sonic game. I guess, mm. you know, I guess I compare the first Crash Bandicoot maybe to like a mediocre Sonic game. There's good in there, but well, there could be some bullshit that ruins the experience. I guess the same thing could be said about Sonic Adventure, but I tend to have more fun with that one, because as much as I, uh, you know, as much as I do enjoy Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 and all that, I can admit there's some uh, rough spots about them. Either way, Crash Bandicoot is another similar franchise like that. It's just, you know... Oh, I forgot to do the key level. Oh, well. Oh, they even had thanks to Naughty Dog, as they should. They probably had to get Naughty Dog's approval for doing this, I guess, or talk to them about it. They were probably like, yes! Oh, this is like the credits for the entirety of the trilogy. I guess we go over these credits for every single game. <laughs> Why not? But it's only for the first game right now. Still, it's nice to see who did the entirety of the trilogy, which I guess was the same team for all of them. So, all three of the games do play very similarly. Yeah, either way, I should probably finish my thoughts. Yes, the original Crash Bandicoot is rough, but I 
feel like it's still an experience worth trying. I mean, if you know the Crash Bandicoot series, you may as well skip this first one. <laughs> but, you know, this, this first one is a good introduction to Crash as a whole. I gotta say, I really do like this game. Despite some frustrations. And people probably remember that I'm a big platforming fanatic, so, you know, I love my platformers. And, uh, well, like I said, Crash Bandicoot is another memorable one from my childhood. I crashed two and three. I'll tell you, they are definitely better than this one. Oh, look at all the people or voice cast or whatever, people that contributed to this one. My god. Oh, yeah, that's something I could do. I could probably go over the voice cast for, uh, some of the characters that are in there now, because, uh, I said, Brendan O'Brien did the majority of the voices back in the day for the Crash games, or at least the first one. So, uh, yeah, maybe I can look that up just so we can uh, see who the uh, new voices are for the, yeah, for the Insane Trilogy. Because I forgot, they did have different voices. Well, you'd think they get the initial voice actors back. Well, they do sound similar, but they are different. I gotta go over the ones that are actually the characters we got to see. Ooh, we had John... Oh, wait. Never mind. Wrong character name. Excuse me. We have Greg Eagles as Aku Aku, although he's not very apparent. Now he just goes... Ooga! We have Greg Eagles here who did that. He's Gray Fox from Metal Gear Solid. Hey! It's that guy, and he's Jax in Mortal Kombat X. Oh, and he's Grim in the Grim Vengeance Billy Mandy. Oh, wow. Greg Eagles is a lot. The guy who did characters in this game, Jess Harnell, a female, I should have figured. She's, well, the voice of Crash Bandicoot. Wait, let me look back at that. I forgot to read her. Jess Harnell is the voice of Crash Bandicoot, Pinstripe Potoroo, and Ripper Roo. So Crash Bandicoot, two of the bosses. She's been Ironhide in some recent in the Transformers movies, and uh, she was Wacko, Wacko Warner, Wacko, I mean. For any of you that remember what Animaniacs is, yep, that's that. Wacko. Oh, I miss Animaniacs. I wish I would make a comeback, because Animaniacs was awesome. Yeah, Jess Harnell did those, and, uh, well, we didn't get to hear much of Coco, but you got to hear a bit. It's done by Debbie Derryberry? Who the heck is Debbie Derryberry? I don't know, but it won't let me read it! Because I hate going through these, because it's so hard to load. Anyway, Dr. Neo Cortex is done by, uh, Lex Lang. Hmm. Doesn't look like he's known for much, though. He just do generally does a lot of additional voice work from the looks of it. But yeah, he's the new voice for, uh, Dr. Neo Cortex, I guess. Oh my god, he did do a lot. Holy shit. It might take too long for me to figure out, uh... Yeah, I don't think I can figure this out. By the way, Lex Lang is a voice of, uh, Doc Neo Cortex. Look him up if you want to know more. What else do we have here? Oh my god, how long these credits? My god, I would've just tried to speed this up if I could. We have, uh, Maurice LaMarche who does the voice of Nitrous Brio, as well as Lab Assistant? He was Mr. Big in Zootopia, and Foot Brute in the 2018 Ninja Turtles cartoon. Oh, boy. Well, yeah, Maurice LaMarche is a pretty well-known voice actor, the looks of it. Koala Kong, and, well, this guy did other voices and characters later in the series, we'll see. Fred Tatas... Tatascore? Tatascore? I can't read it. Fred Tatascore did the voice of a uh, Koala Kong. Well, I gotta look at somebody else first. We have Dwight Schultz as well. Dwight Schultz, who did the voice of Papu Papu and also a lab assistant. He was a uh, Lieutenant Barkley in a uh, Star Trek First Contact. And he's also voiced somebody in, uh, Wolfenstein. The new Wolfenstein. 
Wilhelm. Uh, what's his character's name? Wilhelm Deathshed Strauss. For Wolfenstein the New Order. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, Fred Tatia Tataskior. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, right. I forgot. I wasn't looking. But yeah, notice all these. Staff times. Ultimate time trial times for you to try to beat throughout the entirety of the trilogy. Oh, Jesus. Don't think I should try to go for that. No bankers were harmed in the creation of this game. Oh, thank God. That was what was on my mind. Good. You staved off PETA. Good job. Yes, Coco, be proud of me, you dumb bitch. Hey, anyway, let's go over the last one. Fred Tataskior, you're the voice of uh, Koala Kong and other characters. Oh my god, he was Samuel Jackson in Team America World Police? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, yes. He was also Megatron in the Transformers Fall of Cybertron. And, uh, Laws in that Final Fantasy movie. Oh dear. And the Panda Dad in Kung Fu Panda 2. Huh. Nice. At least he had a nice, successful career, I guess. Well, whatever. But yep, there's your voice cast, and uh, well... Like I said, Crash Bandicoot is a rough platformer. If you know the franchise, you may want to be willing to skip on the first game, because it really doesn't mean much in the grand scheme of things, but... You know, it's still a fun experience, nonetheless. All right, Coco, I'm gonna get rid of you. Now, I think after this episode, I'm gonna look up some achievements. You know, I'll just sit here with you. Just so we can be together. Look at each other in the eye. And get you out of my life. For good. Oh my god, it only shows her head. That's creepy. That is really creepy. I don't think I want her to show up now. That's just really creepy to see her head floating. Oh, jeez. Not. We'll just end it here. So, we've been Crash Bandicoot. I guess. But that doesn't mean the fun's over. We still have all the gems to go after and, uh, well. Relics. Time trials, if you will. Which I think looking into that, the relics don't add too much to the completion percentage, but I think you do want to complete all of them or at least the lowest rank. So, yep, I'm going to go for that as hard as I can. That's yeah, going to be rough. So, come back next time. This certainly wasn't the finale and won't be for a while. I think the finale will be when we go through that clear gen path thing in the end. That's my guess. How long that will take? God only knows. With how bad these time trials could be, I have no idea. Anyway, come back next time. We're going to go over the rest of those gems. If we complete that by the end of next episode, which, oh, God, I know we won't. Then, I guess we'll start the time trials. Which, oh, boy, I'm not looking forward to that. I forgot. You get an ability at the end of Crash 3 that makes time trials a lot easier. I'll just leave it at that for now. But this game, you didn't learn any new abilities. I think you do learn new abilities in Crash 2. I guess Crash 1 is just a plain platformer that doesn't really try to add too much. Which, I guess, for simplicity's sake, is probably a good thing. It's a good starting point. But anyway, yeah. See you guys next time we go for the struggle that will be the rest of the clear gems. Oh, God, help me. Hopefully, the rest of the color gems will make that an easy hunt.